Well, next here tonight to a fear that is real for many transgender people in the Tampa Bay area. Many afraid for their lives as hate crimes against that community have increased. And tonight, ABC Action News in-depth reporter Anthony Hill speaking with transgender people in the Bay Area about their concerns and is digging deeper to find out what's being done to protect them. Definitely fear for my safety before. This is Kyla Emmons, and she's a transgender woman living in the Bay Area. And like many gender non-conforming people, she has to fight every day just to be understood. People don't really have um, the same regard that you may have for yourself. So it can be very scary as to how you are received or if you're going to be received well. Her community is not just fighting to change the hearts and minds of people. They're also fighting for their own lives. I'm sure if you Google or, or just pull up anything about transphobic deaths, um, you know, you can see where people are are assaulted for no reason. Um, it can snowball very fast when you're at gas stations or you're in public places. According to the Human Rights Campaign, 2020 was the deadliest year for the trans community since the group began collecting data in 2013. Last year, 45 trans people were violently killed, many of them right here in Florida. And this year, we're on track to beat that. And African Americans and Latinos are disproportionately targeted. So being trans and being black, there's a lot of different things that go through my mind when going in certain places. But just knowing that at any given moment, if someone is not accepting of who you are as a person, you can be targeted and, and, and assaulted. According to the Movement Advancement Project, Florida's hate crime law requires law enforcement agencies to investigate and prosecute crimes committed due to the sexual orientation of the victim, but not gender identity. So what's being done to protect the community that's being targeted and attacked? I spoke with one local trans advocate who says there's already legislation in Tallahassee and if passed would include gender identity in the state's hate crime law. This is an existing hate crimes law and all we're doing is basically adding a few words. Nathan Bremer is an attorney with Equality Florida, the state's largest civil rights organization fighting for equality based on sexual orientation and gender identity. Nathan says SB 194 would make attacking a transgender person because of their gender identity a hate crime. It validates the existence of trans folks. We know the targeting is happening. We know anecdotally it's happening. And there's a lack of, of trust often between law enforcement agencies and the transgender community and, and saying, first of all, by statute, we see you, you're, we know you're targeted and we include you. Nathan says it's incredibly difficult to prove hate crimes, but with no legal protections for trans people in Florida, many biased crimes against them go underreported. And then as we see those crimes reported, we can address them and we can we can, you know, have the justice system do what it should be doing, which is protecting all Americans. For Kyla, finding out that another transgender person has been murdered hits too close to home for her. I think when you read it, you're reading it from a list of names, but when I read it, I'm hearing I'm seeing um, and remembering people that I know personally. Shiani Cutliff hopes to see the day when being herself won't make her a target. We have to be able to protect anybody and everybody, no matter how they choose to identify or express themselves. If SB 194 passes, Florida will join 26 other states that also protect transgender people under local hate crime laws. But many of the transgender people I spoke with told me a cultural change in how we view people who are different from us also has to happen. And that may be more difficult than just amending a law. In St. Petersburg, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.